Hello everyone. In previous session, we completed what is rectification expressions to evaluate it. Okay. So before going to start our today's class, my channel ki anka evarana first time uchna valu unnat laite subscribe jis kora matra match pakandi. Oka sare mana previous class ni discuss jeda. Oka two minutes discuss jeshin tarvata. E roj class lo ki intra hoda. Okay. So let us see what are the formulas what are the expressions to evaluate the rectification of a given curve means here we have cartesian form of formulas to okay ikkada y is equal to f of x formula question unte ee formula use chestam x is equal to f of y formula unte ee question use cheyadam jarugutundi so adhe vidhanga ichina question anedi parametric formula unte and x is equal to x of theta and y is equal to y of theta formula unte ee question ni ee formula ni use cheyadam jarugutundi if the given question is like r equal to f of theta then we can use this formula if the given question is theta is equal to f of r then we can use this type of formula right so here we have a expressions to find a length of the given curve means length of the given curve anna rectification of a curve anna okate okay so rectification anna length of the given curve anna okate okay so in question if we given length of a given curve then we can use any one of uh, these formulas according to the question if we, if we given in the question find the rectification of a given curve then also you can use any one of these formulas okay i hope all you clear this is all about uh, previous class in previous session i explained already what are these uh, formulas about these formulas okay so let us start our uh, today's class in today's class just i want to explain a problems how to do right so see the first problem find the length of the arc of the curve y is equal to log of secant x from x equal to 0 to x is equal to pi by 3 if you observe this question it is in the form of like y is equal to f of x if the go question is like y is equal to f of x we have a formula to find length of the arc of the curve what is that formula s is equal to integral a to b under root 1 plus dy by dx whole square into dx right into dx like this we have a formula right so here if you observe here you need to find dy by dx means you have to differentiate the given function first of all okay so let us uh, differentiate the given function then differentiating one on both sides then for y dy by dx for this d by dx of log of secant x so we have a formula log x that is 1 by x 1 by secant x again we have to do inner derivative for secant x d by dx of secant x so 1 by secant x secant x derivative is what secant x tan x secant x secant x cancel means you will get tan x so dy by dx as tan x now we have to substitute this dy by dx value in this given formula a to b means x from where to where x is changing 0 to pi by 3 that we have to insert in the formula so s is equal to integral a to b under root 1 plus dy by dx whole square into dx dy by dx is nothing but tan x 0 to pi by 3 integral 0 to pi by 3 under root 1 plus tan x whole square into dx so tan x whole square means tan square x 1 plus tan square x is nothing but secant square x so root secant square x means root square root cancel means integral 0 to pi by 3 is secant x left here okay so integration of secant x formula we have log of secant x plus tan x so integration of secant x is log of secant x plus tan x so here we have a limits 0 pi by 3 so now if you apply limits how you will apply limits upper limit minus lower limit so upper limit log of secant pi by 3 plus tan pi by 3 minus log of secant 0 plus tan 0 secant pi by 3 value is 2 and tan pi by 3 value is root 3 we know already from the sign table so here secant 0 is 1 tan 0 is 0 then we got uh, log of 2 plus uh, root 3 minus log 1 log 1 value 0 we know already so substitute in place of log 1 0 finally we got log of 2 plus root 3 this is what length of the given curve therefore the length of the curve is log of 2 plus root 3 okay so now now let us see this next to second problem the second problem is important this is most repeated question 
find the length of the curve y is equal to log of e power of x minus 1 by e power of x plus 1 from x is equal to 1 to x is equal to 2. If you observe this, this is also like uh, y is equal to f of x. Okay, this is also like uh, y is equal to f of x. Then you can use same formula here also. So if you want to use that same formula, first of all you need to find differentiation of this means dy by dx. You need to know, you need to know dy by dx. Okay, so dy by dx means differentiate one on both sides. Then differentiation of log of e power of x minus one by e power of x plus 1. Differentiation of log x is 1 by x. In place of x we have this term. So we have to do inner derivative for this d by dx of e power of x minus 1 by e power of x plus 1. So differentiation of u by v. So v into u derivative d by dx of e power of x minus 1 minus u into differentiation of v derivative d by dx of e power of x plus 1. e power of x plus 1 differentiation of e power of x is e power of x for 1 derivative 0 e power of x minus 1 differentiation of e power of x is e power of x 1 derivative is 0 right so here by v square okay u by v formula is what v into u derivative minus u into v derivative by v square right so here we have same terms if we cancel here then you will find e power of x plus 1 into e power of x minus e power of x minus 1 into e power of x by e power of x minus 1 e power of x plus 1. So if you multiply this into this base or equal power should be added e power of x into e power of x e power of 2x 1 into e power of x e power of x minus into plus minus e power of x into e power of x e power of 2x minus e to minus plus e power of x by it is in the form of a minus b into a plus b. We have a formula a minus b into a plus b is equal to a square minus b square. Okay. In place of a here we have e power of x, e power of x whole square, 1 square. So here e power of 2x, e power of 2x cancel. Remaining e power of x plus e power of x, 2 e power of x. e power of x whole square means e power of 2x, 1 square is 1. This is only dy by dx. Now we have to substitute this dy by dx and the x limits from where to where it is changing in the given formula then you will get the required length of the curve. So the length of the curve is given as a s is equal to integral a to b under root 1 plus dy by dx whole square into dx. So limits are given 1 to 2 dy by dx value we got here 2 e power of x by e power of 2x minus 1 whole square whole square means for 2 2 square is 4, e power of x whole square is e power of 2x, e power of 2x minus 1 whole square in the denominator. Now, if you do LCM, then you will, here you will get e power of 2x minus 1 whole square plus 4 e power of 2x by e power of 2x minus 1 whole square. So, if you observe this numerator, it is like a minus b whole square plus 2ab. So, it can be written as a plus b whole square sorry 4ab it can be written as a plus b whole square we have an identity a minus b whole square plus 4ab this equal to a plus b whole square okay these two are equal if you observe here here it is a minus b whole square plus 4ab okay a means e power of 2x b means 1 it is like a minus b whole square plus 4ab it can be written as a plus b whole square. Here already e power of 2x minus 1 whole square. If we do square to the numerator and denominator as same, that is e power of 2x plus 1 by e power of 2x minus 1 whole square. Then here square root will be cancelled. Then you will get integral 1 to 2 e power of 2x plus 1 by e power of 2x minus 1. Okay. If we change further it, take e power of x common in the numerator and the denominator then it will be c if we take e power of x common it will be e power of x plus 1 by e power of x in the numerator by e power of x e power of x minus 1 by e power of x in the denominator these two will be cancelled 1 by e power of x can be written as e power of minus x 1 by e power of x can be written as e power of minus x means this can be written as like this 
e power of x plus e power of minus x by e power of x minus e power of minus x. Why we are changing this into like this means now it is like in the form of f dash f x by f of x dx. So we have a formula integral f dash of x by f of x can be written as log of f of x. Okay. See how it is. So denominator differentiation is what? e power of x derivative e power of x e power of minus x derivative minus e power of minus x. Already here we have minus minus e to minus plus then you will get numerator. So differentiation of denominator only numerator then we can write this integration as log of e power of x minus e power of minus x. Limits as 1 to 2. Now we have to apply limits. Upper limit minus lower limit log of e square minus e power of minus 2 e, e square minus e power of minus 2 minus log of e power of 1 minus e power of minus 1 upper limit now first substituting then uh, lower limit okay then log of e square minus e power of minus 2 by this is uh, log a minus log b we have a formula log a minus log b can be written as log of a by b log of a by b According to that formula, we can write log of e square minus e power of minus 2 by e minus e power of minus 1. If you observe here, numerator it is in the form of a square minus b square. We can write a plus b into a minus b. Right? It is like c a square minus b square. Like this, it is numerator. We can write e plus e power of minus 1, e minus e power of minus 1. Okay. Here these two cancel means we left uh, log of e plus e power of minus 1. It can be written as log of e plus 1 by e. So therefore the length of the curve is what? Log of e plus 1 by e. I hope all you understand. Now video gonna come in the like like and share chandhi. If you have any doubts in the comment section, lo comment jeda matra machi If you have any doubt further, join in my telegram group or instagram. Follow in instagram. Then I will clear your doubt definitely. Okay. Thank you. Thank you for watching. These links are in the description below. Observe J&D. Thank you. Thank you for watching. Have a nice day.